welcome to this EFT introduction. My name is Anja Hertkorn. I'm an energy coach and a therapist. In this video, I will give you a short background of the emotional freedom technique, show you all the tapping points and guide you through a little tapping routine. I included the emotional freedom technique or tapping into my private practice several years ago because of the stunning and fast results my clients and I experienced after tapping. The technique was developed in the 80s and in the meantime it has even been scientifically proven that tapping reduces negative emotions such as anxiety, fear, helplessness, anger and frustration. You can work with EFT on performance blockages, weight issues, pain, other health issues, relationship issues or whatever issue you might have. You can try it on everything. Gary Gregg, the founder of EFT, said that the cause of all negative emotions is a disruption in the body's energy system. We therefore want to stimulate meridian points or acupuncture points to release blockages in our energy system. Meridians are a transport system to provide our organs with energy. We have bladder meridians, stomach meridians, spleen meridians, gallbladder meridians, liver meridians and so on. The meridians respond to our emotions. For example, when you have a lot of anger, your gallbladder or liver meridian responds. Or when you have a lot of stress, your triple warmer meridian responds. What we want to do here is to give our emotions a voice and to calm our energy system at the same time. You can take two or three fingers to tap on your meridian points between five and seven times. You cannot make any mistakes with tapping and you do not need to follow any particular order. Meridians are on both sides of the body. You can tap either on one side or the other side or on both sides. It doesn't matter. So now, where are these points? Our first point is the eyebrow point. Just tap here where the eyebrow starts and then follow the little bone here to the side of the eye and tap on the little bone side of the eye. Our next point is under the eye and the following point is under the nose and this is called the chin point and here are the collarbone points. Our next point is under the arm. And now you can continue tapping on all the fingers next to the nails. And go through all the fingers until you come to the karate chop point. This is also a very important point here. And then take the top of the head where a lot of acupuncture points are. You can also tap on the inside of your wrist and on the outside. Let me guide you through a little tapping routine where we will only take the short round. This means we tap from the karate chop point to the top of the head. I invite you to think about a stressful memory in your life. It could be related to your work, your family, a health problem or to any other issue that is stressing you out. Make a clear image or picture in your head about the situation and notice where the stress shows up in your body. On a scale from 0 to 10, where 10 would be the most stress you could feel rate your intensity regarding this situation. While we are tapping, focus on this image regarding your situation. Now I invite you to tap with me and repeat out loud what I'm saying. We start at the karate chop point. Even though I'm so stressed about this situation, 
I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm so stressed that I can feel the stress in my body, I choose to accept all of my feelings. Even though I couldn't stay calm in this situation, I choose to accept all of me. Now we go through all the tapping points. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed that I feel the stress in my body. This stress really gets to me. About what I've heard, about what I've seen, about what I've experienced. I'm so stressed. No wonder that I can feel this stress in my body. After this first round, you probably feel a little different. When your stress went up, it's a good sign. It means that we found your specific stress factor. Perhaps it was something you saw or heard in this situation. Now that we have given your stress a voice, um, perhaps we can target it down a little bit more and um, notice how you feel right now about this situation. Uh, perhaps you feel angry, frustrated, sad or overwhelmed or helpless. Whatever comes up, I will continue here with anger. Perhaps uh, you have a total other emotion right here, but um, you can take your emotion instead of anger. So I will continue with anger. So we go back to the karate chop point. Even though I'm so angry, I deeply and completely accept myself. And even though I feel this anger in my body, I choose to accept how I feel. Even though I'm so angry that I could hit someone, I deeply and completely accept all of me. I'm really angry. Boy, I'm angry regarding this situation. It really got to me. I'm so angry about what I've heard and about what I've seen and what I've experienced. I am angry. No wonder I'm so angry right now. Take a deep breath and relax a little bit and notice how you feel right now. Notice if you can perceive any differences. Look at your picture again, your image and see if something changed in this image. And we will continue with another round. Here we go through all the points. I retrieve all my energy. Regarding this situation. And take it to the right place within myself. And I remove all non-me energy that has caused this situation and my emotions from myself, from my body and my personal space and send it back to wherever it may belong. And I retrieve all my energy that is bound in my reaction regarding this situation and take it to the right place within myself. Now take a deep breath and relax. I hope this introduction was helpful. If you want to have more information regarding EFT or if you want to have a private session with me, give me a call. Thank you for watching.